morning it was a late night um 11 o'clock i think it was when we finished I mean, it's not that late some people work until like one and two o'clock but we got all the straw in and i'm so happy because look at the conditions we've got puddles and bits and bobs like that so everything's dry it's under cover we'll get that load stacked in a minute and um yeah just seen the big misters here as well first things first i am on the straw blower just gotta connect all this up though just picked it up drop the spikes off pop the pto on as if by magic that's on by magic i'm here in mind that's on i'm here <laughs> no big mick up though because i like the spikes. i did i did notice that to be honest oh, no, no, when my best is done. Did, did you see um a real lady wearing a big mick hat she's got good taste it's called like a say about it <laughs> The mister. <laughs> oh, I loved it. I loved I it. I know you. I know you did. Straight video sent to Bic. Bic's like I'm the mister. So we're back in the 130 with the new joystick business. We are now blasting the straw in. These guys getting them all nice and bedded up. Gonna be a lot of rain this weekend, isn't there? So we're probably gonna end up using a lot of straw, but that's just how it goes. It's nice that we're getting some actually back into the shed rather than just taking it out all the time. As you can see, these guys are fairly chilled. Dad's out on the TM, looks like Mick's gonna be going with him. Mick's letting me in, look. It's high visibility. These guys are all up front. Again, we're strawing them up. They're all fairly clean, really, but we like to give them straw every single day. Keep them happy and healthy. I'll give you a knife. No, no, Jockey. Not there. Yeah. Yeah. Which side do we cut them from? It don't matter, I can suit it boy, i got muscles, not like you. We cut them from the side with art knot, because when I pull that, we have to pull the other knot there, yeah, around the it. corner. Get it done. Whoa, 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 here, whoa. Here. Whoa. You're on fire. Quest of the recordation. Let me tell you something, right? I don't want that I keep my hands off these. Why? I wish to my wife. What, I'm not sexy? No. <laughs> What happened at Whitby? Not Did last time I went, not this time, last time I pulled this bird came up to me she says, and I got this killer t-shirt on, she went, oh, she says, oh, they're brilliant, them grew up, aren't they? I says, yeah, the ass is absolutely fantastic. She says, I went to see him the other week, I says, yeah, I says, I was going to go, but I didn't have time. <laughs> but I lied. <laughs> you were never going, you didn't know the one, did you? You didn't know the one. <laughs> I thought you were the monkey up the street. It's coffee time, look who's turned up. Person who don't know how to fix water troughs. Oh, hang on, it. Should we go through this? No. In a different pen, you put the lid back on the trough, and you like. Because oh, the cows are in there, yeah, and it yeah, wants so them to eat I'm it. Check water trough. Lids all fastened down. Everything. Water troughs running. Oh well, it's all right then, isn't it? Who lost the seal for it and knew that it would leak? You were there doing that. I you. Was in that pen. Who was it? Who you. was the only one in the pen doing that trough? If you want a job done right, don't ask don't your brother. Do it. Don't ask your brother. Don't let Joe do it. My dad's going to his friends, he's going to take some straw with him and pick some cows up, I think. This is the plan. Did you go after Adams? Yeah, I bought, I used to be slimmer, I think. Not really, it doesn't fit me very well, but I don't think it ever did. Mum's cousin, Gav, has had this done on his CNC machine. That's massive! <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take to do? Size, mate, that you it was. No, no, I didn't. I didn't think it were that big. That is huge. Now, it? it definitely can. That is brilliant. Where can they get this done then, Gav? This can be done at the Twisted Knot. Twist so yeah, the shops at um, Yoshua Wildlife Park, or we've got a place that's proper as well where we do all manufacturing bits. So yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, sweet. That's gonna have pride of place somewhere. That definitely. Thank you very much. Not a problem. Enjoying bacon sandwiches, mate? No. <laughs> so we've just had our dinner. It's really wet still here in South Yorkshire. Now got um, 
some cattle to get out ready for I think tomorrow. I think they're going tomorrow. Alright, yeah, well, we'll have a look around some of you guys, see if anybody's ready to go. That one's are Angus, and we've got a Hereford here, in the white head. Looking good. The camera's steaming up a bit though. Getting the cattle in, and you're going to do your aerial that you've been doing for the last four or five weeks. Mm, and one camera. Um, family channel, Michael. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, so, yeah, you, you, you're here at morning? Yeah, I'm here at morning. I don't know if I am. I think he has made to a party, I think. Well, what time are you going? I don't know. I don't know, maybe. maybe. I've just come for a couple hours and then go. Well, I can't. It's earlier than that. Mm. But, yeah. All right, dilly dilly. Nice to see you. Dilly dilly. Are you in next week? I'm not going anywhere. Nice. Right, all right, bag on. Bag on, Roger. We go, just getting a few out now. Put them into the crush. Weigh them, see how they're doing. This one here is not quite big enough. But don't want to come outside. And it's not really that fat either. We want a bit of fat on there. I give Ben the number, it brings up the details. But same as the one before. Put the weights in. Weight or is it not? So they walk into the back of the crush. Automatically shuts behind him. Then we can weigh it. Probably don't probably don't weigh enough. We'll get his details up on the laptop there. See what it's been doing It'll and then make a decision. Kilos. 2.2. That's it. That's a cheese, yeah. 50. Gone to 1.7 then. Being good. He's not going to be happy. Ben's dog, who's wet and mucky, he's sat in there. Reggie! Looking at me, mate. Don't look at you. Looks at the owner. Not right. Mr. John Deercourt. One behind. He is out. massive. Is that one? Absolutely huge. Are having lots of fun with water troughs, and I mean not lots of fun. Um, trying to, I think got blockage somewhere, maybe under the under the concrete somewhere. We've got pipes everywhere. Um, Trying to get around it, I think it's somewhere between that point there and that point there where we've got a blockage. I'm guessing it's in the T that's on this pipe here. I'm going to try and put this bell wire down to unblock it. This is how our professionals do it. This is how professional Wait. plumbers do it. He's mm. always having to put a thin thing in the wide hole. Get that going down there. It's not gone very far so far. Should have measured this, shouldn't we? Sorry, yeah, we can measure it on my own. My guess is it might be bottom. Ben's running with water. So fill it up fast. Not now, you turned it off. Someone <laughs> says get a ball roll. Ask me if you've got clean water, because if you've got mucky water like us, what a nightmare this thing is. I, I'm honestly thinking about just swapping and paying for um, mains water, because it saves us a lot of money though. Yeah, stick with bear and borrow. Got another line of piping in, and hopefully this is going to work, but I, yeah, not holding too much up. But it is my life just trying to move from one disaster and solve one problem to another. I do not know, but it is. And um, yeah, we'll try and stay positive, eh? This is the backup water supply. And they're gonna have it. We're getting some feeding up done now anyway. I think we've got the water trough sort of sorted, hopefully. Fingers crossed on that job. After all this, we found the problem with this pipe. It's bunged up. Bunged up back up the pipe. Fantastic. I am feeling so much better that we found this. Like, 
unreal better. I've gone from being like 60% to probably 80% now as Ferran Torino's percent. I'm about 40. Ben's about 40%. Because he's wet through. Anyway, we're, we're going to soldier on and get this done for these guys in here. Golf ball. You want a golf ball? Golf ball. What, come out of a mixer? Fired out of a mixer. <laughs> You are not telling him. Not telling Andy, not telling Andy that about that. Them pipes going under He's concrete. Not allowed to watch video. Because he did say to us, don't put them under there. Because we might get, need to get to it. We might need to get to it because there might be problems. So we're not telling him. Well, so we're not going to tell him. And we're not going to tell everybody on YouTube either. No. Because like that'd be admitting his mistakes, wouldn't it? Well, I don't think it was my mistakes, probably not your mistake. Oh, is it my? Oh, it oh, he's front man. He wants to be front man when he's on video. You don't want to be front man when he goes wrong. <laughs> right, anyway, um, hopefully you've liked our misery. Uh, if you have, <laughs> press the like button, subscribe. Connor's, Connor's ready for bed. Okay. Um, I think he wore it at 8 o'clock this morning. Um, it was a long night yesterday. We're finishing relatively early today, really, in, co in comparison. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye! I just wanted to end the video on a bit more of a positive note and just say how thrilled I am with this sign from Gav. Um, so Gav is a relation of mine, he's my mum's cousin, which I'm not sure what that makes makes him to me, but somebody will let me know in the comments. Um, and they do things like this, CNC, so he's got this new machine and that's what he's done with this, CNC this out for us, um, sent him the logo and he got it done. Um, but they also do like arts and crafts workshops where you can like make different bits and bobs. So check them out, twistednot.co.uk. And um, yeah, they've got a store at Doncaster Wildlife Park and um, a shop in Sprotbrett as well. So yeah, check them out. Not sponsored or anything, but they've done this for me and yeah, I just want to help them out. Business, see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.